What's up guys, got another video review for you. Today we're taking a look taking a look at Toy World, I think it's TW01 Grind Rod. Now Grind Rod is an homage to the Throttle Bots. He is a, uh, well, a direct homage to uh, a Throttle Bot called a uh, Roll Bar. And for those of you who don't know, the Throttle Bots were uh, G1, they were later in the line, like 89, 88, 89. Um, they were little cars that you would pull back, let go, and they would drive themselves. And then there was super simple transformation, they all transformed the same. You would pop it open, crunch the wheels, fold out the doors for arms, and flip back the head, and that was it. Um, I do have them, I just, they're in storage, so I can't really show them off right now. Before we actually get into this guy, I just want to let you know that this is a third party product, so the Autobot logos you see here were not put there by them. They were put there by me. So I just put a couple accents because this piece right here becomes a chest. So I wanted one on his chest. So you got one there. And I just put a couple little little accent. Focus. A couple little accent stickers just on the um, quarter panels there. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer because he is an Autobot. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, third party. It's, an, it's made by Toy World, who is somehow related to iGear. No, they don't want to really say how they're related. But I wasn't originally going to pick this guy up. The reason I picked him up was because the reviews of him were so glowing, and there was basically everyone was just raving about him. Um, and I have to say, I am not disappointed at all that I picked him up. First of all, as we take a look at him, he is modeled after a Jeep. I think it's a Liberty uh, vehicle, vehicle, car. Pretty sure it's a Liberty. Don't quote me. You can tell that's a Jeep just by the front grille and the, the the roundness of the grille and the overall design. Um, he's incredibly strong, super thick, super tough, uh, very 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 high quality plastic. I'm very 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 impressed with how high quality this guy is. Um, super clean. There's no kibble at all in vehicle mode. Like all you see is the legs, and that's. You know, you can chalk that up to being a car. Like, that doesn't look out of place at all. Spare tire in the back. This actually becomes his gun. And what's also cool is we found out recently that all they're, they're coming out with all the throttle bots. And they're going to make a combiner out of them. So this guy is going to be a foot. So to show him off in foot mode real quick, we just fold down the grill. It's on this double hinge. Fold it up in there's two holes right here. And you just peg them in foot that's a foot so very cool um we're pretty sure that the last one whenever it comes out we'll have all the combiner parts to actually combine him now it doesn't want to go in there we go so we'll see when that actually comes out the next one's going to be um a white suzuki i think so to transform him we pop off the rear tire the spare tire which i said will become his gun we'll show that off in a minute. So first, um, what you got to the easiest way to the, I'm going to show you the easiest way to transform it that I found. Um, this is mostly bolt matrix transformation. You split the front, and then that will kind of create a crease right here. And you can kind of free it here, and everything in here is super tight. So you just want to really wiggle it until it becomes free like that. Um, it connects here and here. There's tabs on the top and the bottom here. So what I do is, as soon as that becomes free, I just pull it away. Because it's on this um, accordion hinge. So again, let me show you that again. Come on this side, just wiggle it a little bit. So it comes, and then get your finger right in there. And then pull it straight down and away. And that'll extend out the legs and get it free. So you can work. Next, just fold down the windows against the leg. And then just like we did for the foot mode, you're gonna put the grill up on top here. The easiest way to do it is to push down on the bumper and that frees it. And then you can pull up on the second hinge and then just make sure it's flush. And you're good. So again, push down on the bumper, pull up on the second hinge, pop it in the hole, and that's his lower half done. Next, come over here to the wheels, separate them, and rotate them 180 degrees and kind of just push them back up. This is just to get them out of the way. 
Next, we're gonna pull back on the hood, and this, like I said, this is all really tight. There's a hinge right here, it's a double hinge. So what you wanna do is kinda of just free it enough that you can see, get it loose like that. Fold this part down, and then what you wanna do is push it. This has to go back here, but if you just fold it back, this hinge is gonna pop out. So what you wanna do is push it towards the figure, as you fold it down, just keep constant pressure towards the figure itself, and it'll sit flush. Super easy. Now you take these back wheels, and you see there's a peg and a hole on either side. They're keyed oppositely, and those will just pop together. These fit very, very loosely. As you can see, like very, very little force, and they pop out. So just be aware. It's not the end of the world. They pop out, you push them back together, just for the backpack. So we're almost done. So now what you want to do is the... I already kind of did it a little bit, but as you can see, the fist is behind the window right here on either side. So you have to free that up. So what you just want to do, there's also two little pegs up here on the roof. So kind of just wiggle that free until you guys get the hands out and just kind of pull them away for now. Like that, push the head up. It's on a nice click, just click it twice till it's uh, you know, all the way up. Leave the hood for now. Straighten the arms. This, these are very, 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 very stiff. So that's why I'm fumbling with it. And then you want to hold the shoulder and rotate it at the bicep. Again, straighten it. Rotate it down, rotate it around. Now these door panels are on a hinge on their own. I think this side is going to be easier for you to see. See that hinge? Right up, let me, I'll zoom in for you. See, there's a hinge right there. It's like that. So what you want to do is lift it up and then push it forward like that till it's more forward on the hand. Again, see it's back. You want to lift it. Again, these are tight. Push it forward. Let's zoom back. Out. Almost done. Now we just lift up on the chest and there's a peg and a hole. And you just Accordion it up, snaps into place, and there we have Grind Rod in robot mode. Let me tilt up. Oh my god. Hold on a sec, guys. Tilt up a little bit. Could you frame a little bit better? Okay. So, first of all, here we have him in his robot mode. I'll show you the gun in a second. First of all, articulation. Shoulders are on a hinge and a ball joint. Full range of motion there. Hinge at the elbow. Nothing, oh, no, rotates at the wrist. Head is on a swivel, so it rotates uh, 360 degrees. Waist is on uh, 360 degrees on a swivel. Bends at the knee, has that double hinge for the transformation, so you can get some nice range of motion there. Nothing at the foot, unless you count this part of the transformation, which you don't count that. And, yeah, it's about going to do it for... See, look, see, just fiddling with it, the, pop, the back pops up, so just, like I said, put it back together. So, yeah, just get on to stand. Oh, no. It's hard to do this when you're looking at a camera and not at the figure. So yeah, there he is in robot mode. His weapon is the wheel, like I said. Now what you want to do is if you flip it around, you'll see his two little cannons. So you just flip them out. And that also leaves a groove back here where they came from. And that will groove on the window here. So when you pop it in, it sits straight. Sit straight. Which is very cool. I dig that. So, like I showed you before, that that hood piece became his chest. So that's why the auto I put the Autobot symbol. I chose to put it there. So, also he's got really he's got pretty damn cool light piping. 
but that's going to lead us into the negatives. Um, first negative is this hood, the backpack totally blocks the light piping. You can see right there how it's, it's a lot of light piping, but you can't really get to it because of this, this backpack. So it doesn't really come through that well. See, you can get some light through there, but the backpack prevents a lot. Also, I'm not crazy about the feet just because they don't have any pivot at all, so they don't sit flat. So basically that's the flattest you're going to get the feet, so there's always going to be this space underneath. And you see that he is solid. I'm not going to say he's not solid. He is totally solid. But just, you'll always have a gap under here. Because the feet are flat like that, and they don't have any pivot whatsoever. So when you spread, unless you have them like that, which looks stupid. And when you give him a little bit of, of a stance, he's always going to have space under there. It's totally stable. But as you can see, the feet are totally flat, so that there's no give there. And also on mine, I don't know if it's everybody's, but my waist is really loose. Like I said, could be a common problem, could be just me. I have no idea, because I never asked. Because it's not that big a deal, because he is awesome. I really, really dig him. I didn't think I was going to. But I do. I think he's awesome. I totally was not going to pick him up until I read the reviews. And I'm now I'm totally glad I did. There's that backpack, like I said. Um, it does stick out, but I mean, when you have it in hand, it only sticks out the back, almost like a little bit further than the front sticks out, so it's not really that big a deal. Um, I really like how the um, Autobot symbols I put on um, just give that little accent. Um, I try not to put too much, too big of one on the chest. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Quite proud of that. Um, um, like I was saying, you can actually stick the gun if you want. There's these two holes. They're kind of like the gas cans. So you can stick the gun in there if you want. This in robot mode too, and vehicle mode too, but it looks kind of dumb. I think it looks kind of dumb like this too. That's why I don't even bother. Um, he also has one closed fist and one open fist. Um, just putting that there. They do both hold the gun just fine. But, yeah. It doesn't like to hold it on that side as well. I like to put it on this side anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure that is still 5mm, so you can probably still put, you know, like a prime sword in there or a gun or something from somebody else. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to display this guy like this or in rope and combiner mode. I guess we'll see when we get the rest from them. I guess now I'm pot committed with these guys. I'm going to have to get all of them because they're a combiner, and I'm a sucker for combiners. Mm -mm, this shoulder's kind of funky up a little bit more but yeah he's taking another look at his head like I said it's really a shame because he really does have some nice light piping if I turn his head around you see it's all clear blue plastic so you can get some really cool light going in but it is hindered by this by the backpack which does stink but what are you gonna do so yeah there is Toy Worlds. Um, again, Toy World made Hegemon, which is the um, Megatron, which is their Megatron. So yeah, there is TW Toy World. I think TW01 Grind Rod.